We present Jacobi Nerf, a novel Nerf formulation which encourages seam points with high mutual information to behave consistently under seam perturbations. Current neural seam representations mainly focus on reconstructing seam appearance, while mutual correlations between seam points due to the seam semantic structure are largely ignored. For example, when adding random perturbations to the nerve's parameters, the whole scene responds. However, many user interactions with 3D scenes through the observed 2D views require localized and semantically aware responses, as in selecting objects or object parts, editing the appearance of scene entities, and propagating labels to the whole 3D scene given sparse annotations. So, how can we train a nerve to reconstruct the scene and at the same time ensure that the train network can exhibit the desired resonances between correlated points when a perturbation is made? To achieve the aforementioned resonant behavior between seam points, we propose to shape a nerve by regularizing the learning dynamics. The effect is that the shaped nerve can thus express semantically meaningful synergies when the network weights are changed along the gradient of an entity, a region, or a point. We can then leverage these synergies to propagate edits of the scene. We demonstrate the effectiveness of Jacobi nerve with state-of-the-art performance on sparse label propagation for both semantic and instant segmentation tasks. We illustrate the technical details in the following. In this work, we mainly focus on the nerve representation, which can flexibly link 2D and 3D information and support the desired user interaction in the image space. Our key insight is that the semantic structure of the scene is reflected in its covariations, that is, the change in one point should maximally inform the change of other points on the same semantic structure. For example, in an indoor scene, when we move a chair, all the points on the chair move together, but not the others. Thus, we use mutual information to measure covariations and correlations. More explicitly, the mutual information between seen points from the same semantic entity should be larger than points from different semantic entities. Consequently, the proposed shaping aims to achieve a point in the neural weight space so that perturbations in its tangent space respect maximal mutual information between points from the same semantic entity. So how does perturbation in the tangent space relate to mutual information? With some derivation, we can show that the mutual information between the values of two pixels under uniform perturbation in the network weight tangent space varies monotonically with the absolute cosine similarity of the nerve Jacobians with respect to the perturbed weights. Thus, maximizing the absolute cosine similarity of Jacobians of two points from the same semantic structure is equivalent to maximizing their mutual information. In other words, we should align the gradients of semantically correlated points and push away gradients of points from different semantic classes. We enforce this behavior with contrastive learning, and it now comes down to finding positive and negative samples according to the mutual information. To bypass the complex mutual information computation, we resort to self-supervised feature similarities as a surrogate to verify our idea. For experiments, we use Dino features. Dino is a general-purpose self-supervised image feature extracted from pre-trained models. Then we apply contrastive training to align gradients. We randomly sample pixels from all the training views, extract Dino features, and select positive and negative pairs based on the similarity of Dino features. Then we pull close the gradients of pixels having large Dino feature similarity and push farther gradients of pixels having small Dino feature similarity. Experiments show that the snare shaping reveals neutral correlations. Here, we perturb the network parameters along the gradient of the red point circled, that is, changing the network weights along the gradient. Before shaping, the perturbed image has everywhere in the scene changed. But after shaping, only other points on the windows change, showing semantically meaningful variations. Naturally, this tool can be applied for editing scene appearance. By perturbing along the RGB channels with different magnitudes, we can assign different colors for semantic entities by simply perturbing a point from one 2D view. Also, the brightness changes when the perturbation magnitude increases. From the perturbation response, we can also achieve entity selection. From a single point, we can select an entire semantic entity by simply perturbing the network weights along the gradient of the select points and rendering the image from the same view of the perturbed network.
The major evaluation in this work is label propagation, since providing dense annotation for a collection of images can be costly, and there could be a lot of redundancies if they are from the same scene. If we can label only one pixel for each class from one view and propagate the sparse annotation to derive a dense labeling for any view, then we can save a large amount of annotation effort. For this purpose, we develop a method for propagating labels through resonances at test time, leveraging the shape Jacobi nerve. First, we perturb the nerve along the gradient of gray value of that pixel. Then we synthesize the target view from the perturbed nerve and calculate the perturbation response at each pixel. Finally, we assign target view pixels to the class generating the maximal response. Here we show the result of propagating semantic segmentation labels to the whole scene given only one pixel label for each class from one view. The test time propagation runs at approximately 25 seconds per frame. Under this bar setting, Jacobi nerve can achieve smoother and finer propagation results compared with other baselines. Quantitative results show that Jacobi nerve also achieves higher mean IOU and accuracy for the synthesized noble view labels. Compared to the second best method dino nerve, Jacobi nerve achieves relatively 11.9% higher mean IOU and 23.6% higher accuracy. Jacobi nerve can also propagate labels under the dense setting where all pixels in a single source view are annotated. This is useful when we want to obtain fine grained labels with a higher annotation cost. Jacobi nerve can achieve comp comparable results on dense semantic segmentation label propagation. Moreover, Jacobi nerve performs much better than semantic nerve on views very different from the source view. Quantitative results also show that Jacobi nerve achieves comparable performance in terms of mean IOU, but avoids time consuming retraining when the one view dense semantic labels become available. Moreover, the propagated labels using Jacobi nerve achieves much higher accuracy. We also experiment with instant segmentation label propagation. Under the sparse setting where only one pixel label is given for each instance from one view, as observed, Jacobi nerve can achieve smoother and finer label propagation results. Quantitative results also show that Jacobi nerve achieves better performance with relatively 48.7% higher mean IOU and 28.5% higher accuracy compared with dino nerve. Jacobi nerve can also achieve comparable results on dense instant segmentation label propagation. Quantitative results also show that Jacobi nerve achieves comparable performance. For more details about the implementation, you may refer to our GitHub repo. Thank you.